expensive. Hello all and welcome to Robensive Training. My name is Rikun Sindwar and I am a cybersecurity professional over 5 years of experience in the field. This is the continued video for the course Advanced Network Exploitation Expert. The course gives you basic to advanced understanding of network exploitation or network penetration testing. It is useful if you are tackling or if you are uh, working for a company doing some network pen testing internally or externally this will give you an overall idea so if you are watching this video for the first time i always uh, recommend everyone to watch from the first video of this particular section so this might be not the right video for you at the time if you are watching for the first time you can always check uh, the initial video of this particular topic or particular section if you like of course you can always hit the subscribe button that will gradually move my subscribers at the level up and of course your comments will be appreciated so comment below what you find or what you find useful have you liked it if you find something is wrong over there then always uh, comment below your comment really makes me feel a little proud that yeah i'm doing something for the community and i'm at least getting some uh, acknowledgement that yeah people watching people loving this particular things so that being said let's move over our practical video so we are continuing our course advanced network exploitation expert and we are somewhere with the metasploit all the things in which uh, the exploits we are done with the case one case two for known credential and uh, what we're gonna focus is for the privilege escalation or the case 3. So with the assumption of that uh, we already have access to one of the interpreter session and uh, just keep note that this entire uh, video is for the metasploit. This entire series is for the metasploit and not the privilege escalation or understanding vulnerability. Instead we're just going to focus with the metasploit itself. So that being said, uh, meta Metapreter we already have, let's assume that and we will going to utilize some other exploits in order to understand different functionality. So let's assume that we got our Metapreter session uh, with one of the user who is uh, Rob and if I just type get preview, I'm going to have some type of privileges. Along with that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to execute uh, with the interaction, of course and the program that i want to be executed is who am i slash uh, not the priv let's go with the groups so with that command all the groups will be listed whom my current user which is rob is member of and one of the group is administrator however we have very few privileges that is not part of administrator at all but we can gain more privileges of administrators as we are member of this administrators group so now we will utilize this metasploit in order to gain uh, all the privileges that are possible for our case note this is just for the windows 7 and other windows might gonna have different exploits so don't just be very uh, focused for the same exploit and if you are trying for Windows 10, Windows 11 or any other servers, then this might not work. But uh, with the assumption that yes, I know XYZ exploit will gonna work and I'll gonna focus on that. So what I'm gonna do, I'll just uh, use background command that will going to background this continued session or this metapreter session. So what I'm gonna do? I just hit background that uh, send my current session in a background stage or what else you can do is uh, you can just uh, let me quickly reinteract. You can just type control and Z and that will going to prompt you whether you want your session to be backgrounded or not. And I'll gonna go with the, of course, yes, I would like to. And yeah, by default, it went to the background. You can list all the background session by just typing sessions and it will going to list down all the active session. If you want to go with the inactive session, there might be some command that you can find from or through the help. So just type help session and here hyphen D is the command 
we are looking for. Perfect. So this this will going to tell you what are the inactive shell on the box. So those are not really running. So that's being said, let's move ahead with the finding uh, exploits. So what I'm gonna do just search for bypass UAC. That's what exploit I already loaded. But just uh, to show you all here. So there are many different exploits available. Some are for the Windows 10. Some are for the other windows, but what I will going to focus is this particular window exploit windows local bypass USC. What is vulnerability and all we're going to focus dedicatedly in our privilege escalation concept or topics. Right now we will be just focusing on meterpreter functionality. So I'll going to use this particular exploit. So I'll just say use two, which is index value for the same. And perfect. Now, if I type option, it will going to give me all the different uh, arguments that are available here or variables that I need to set. The first and foremost is, of course, important that is session. We already backgrounded one session, as you can see, with the ID one. So what it requires is it requires a particular interpreter session. So I can just simply type use one and uh, not the one of course my bad use uh, two once again to back to that particular exploit instead says session as one so now session value is set to one there are some techniques in order to perform the same attack and one is psh and second one is exe you can use either one of them uh just type set technique and whatever you want. So right now I'll just gonna go with the exe. X uh, that that's what all I know it, it will work. So yeah, you can just set whatever it is. Payload you can always uh, change if you really wish to. So just type show payloads and it will going to list down all the different supported payloads which uh, through which you can select. So if I don't want meterpreter, I can go with the shell. And I have already explained what is different between shell, meterpreter, bind, TCP, and all the other things in the basics. If you haven't uh, go through the same, I recommend to start from the very first video, start from the very first Git book, and that will really help you understanding the further topics. So that's being said, let me just uh, quickly execute this by just typing exploit. And here we go. My exploit really worked. Perfect. So I got another meterpreter session open from the particular victim machine. So it may take a little time, and here we go. I got my meterpreter shell. If I type get prove, it will going to list down all the privileges that I hold, and this is huge. This is huge, better than what we saw earlier. So we escalated our privileges, but it's not a post module. Post module has a different uh, scope. Exploits are something different that will going to give you a remote code execution. Or in simple term, it will going to execute execute all your payload, all the payloads that you can select from. So the only task that exploit will gonna do is to execute payloads using the particular attack methodology or attack script. So here I got full privilege. I can do hash dump and whatnot. Basically, I can uh, just hit help and get all the different possible uh, exploitations or the other commands in order to do various action. So all will gonna work this time. So that's being said, uh, let's uh, end up with that. And uh, we got the privilege escalated through the privilege escalation exploit script. It's not the post module. It is again, Metasploit Metapreter exploit script. So that's being said, uh, that's all for today. Hope you like, hope you learned something new and hope you enjoyed. If you do, please comment below the best part you felt 
or if you find anything any improvements any queries any questions of course comment box is there for you and that will going to help me surely so that's it that's all see you next time